Wise Words of Wisdom Inspirational Quotes IQ Marcus Aurelius was a Roman emperor who ruled from 161 AD to 180 AD and is widely considered one of the greatest Stoic philosophers of all time. Born in 121 AD, Aurelius was raised in a wealthy and influential family and was trained in the art of government and leadership from an early age. He ascended to the throne after the death of his adoptive father, Emperor Antoninus Pius, and spent much of his reign defending the Roman Empire from external threats and promoting Stoic philosophy as a way of life. Aurelius is best known for his book, Meditations, a collection of personal reflections and philosophical musings that he wrote over the course of his life. In this work, Aurelius expounds upon the principles of Stoicism, emphasizing the importance of reason, virtue, and self-discipline as a means of achieving inner peace and living a fulfilling life. Despite his position of power and authority, Aurelius was known for his humility and integrity, and his writings continue to inspire readers around the world to this day. Sit back and relax as you learn from this fantastic collection of his greatest quotes. A man's worth is no greater than his ambitions. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinions than our own. Everything we hear is an opinion, not a fact. Everything we see is a perspective, not the truth. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. The object of life is not to be on the side of the majority, but to escape finding oneself in the ranks of the insane. The opinion of 10,000 men is of no value if none of them know anything about the subject. If you are distressed by anything external, the pain is not due to the thing itself, but to your estimate of it, and this you have the power to revoke at any moment. Think of all the years passed by in which you said to yourself, I'll do it tomorrow, and how the gods have again and again granted you periods of grace of which you have not availed yourself. Use every moment wisely to perceive your inner refulgence, or twill be gone and nevermore within your reach. The things you think about determine the quality of your mind. Your soul takes on the color of your thoughts. I am an old man and have had many worries, but most have never come to pass. Do not be wise in words, be wise in deeds. Live a good life. If there are gods and they are just, then they will not care how devout you have been, but will welcome you based on the virtues you have lived by. If there are gods but unjust, then you should not want to worship them. If there are no gods, then you will be gone, but will have lived a noble life that will live on in the memories of your loved ones. You always own the option of having no opinion. There is never any need to get worked up or to trouble your soul about things you can't control. These things are not asking to be judged by you. Leave them alone. Give yourself a gift, the present moment.
Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I am about to criticize? Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. Be tolerant with others and strict with yourself. Say to yourself in the early morning, I shall meet today an ungrateful, violent, treacherous, envious, uncharitable men. All of these things have come upon them through ignorance of real good and ill. I can neither be harmed by any of them, for no man will involve me in wrong, nor can I be angry with my kinsman or hate him, for we have come into the world to work together. Why should we feel anger at the world, as if the world would notice? The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. Our anger and annoyance are more detrimental to us than the things themselves which anger or annoy us. Death smiles at us all. All a man can do is smile back. Both happiness and unhappiness depend on perception. A person's worth is measured by the worth of what he values. Choose not to be harmed, and you won't feel harmed. Don't feel harmed, and you haven't been. Do not act as if you were going to live 10,000 years. Death hangs over you. While you live, while it is in your power, be good. Do not be ashamed of help. Whatever may happen to you was prepared for you from all eternity, and the implication of causes was from eternity spinning the thread of your being. Without a purpose, nothing should be done. The man who has a house everywhere has a home nowhere. Loss is nothing else but change and change is nature's delight. Soon you will have forgotten the world and soon the world will have forgotten you. You are watching Wise Words of Wisdom, Inspirational Quotes, IQ, the Inspirational Quotes channel everyone goes to for their daily motivation and to learn from the most successful men and women in history. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you never miss a new episode. Today's sponsor is Bob Proctor and the Proctor Gallagher Institute. Discover the secret to having good luck from America's greatest prosperity teacher, Bob Proctor. Six Minutes to Success is based on Bob's more than 50 years of research into what makes or keeps people from being successful. Get instant access to the free video right now. The link is in the description. Now let's get back to more great quotes. Or is it your reputation that's bothering you? But look at how soon we're all forgotten. The abyss of endless time that swallows it all. The emptiness of those applauding hands. The people who praise us, how capricious they are, how arbitrary. And the tiny region it takes place, the whole earth a point in space, and most of it uninhabited. Do what you will. Even if you tear yourself apart, most people will continue doing the same things. Neither in thy actions be sluggish, nor in thy conversation without method, nor wandering in thy thoughts, nor let there be in thy soul inward contention nor external effusion, nor in life be so busy as to have no leisure.
It's normal to feel pain in your hands and feet if you're using your feet as feet and your hands as hands. And for a human being to feel stress is normal if he's living a normal life. And if it's normal, how can it be bad? Our life is what our thoughts make it. Do every act of your life as if it were your last. In a word, your life is short. You must make the most of the present with the aid of reason and justice. Since it is possible that you may be quitting life this very moment, govern every act and thought accordingly. The time is at hand when you will have forgotten everything. And the time is at hand when all will have forgotten you. Always reflect that soon you will be no one and nowhere. Take away the complaint, I have been harmed, and the harm is taken away. The sinner sins against himself, the wrongdoer wrongs himself, becoming the worse by his own action. Stop whatever you're doing for a moment and ask yourself, am I afraid of death because I won't be able to do this anymore? If you are pained by external things, it is not they that disturb you, but your own judgment of them. And it is in your power to wipe out that judgment now. Dig within. There lies the wellspring of good. How ridiculous and how strange to be surprised at anything which happens in life. To understand the true quality of people, you must look into their minds and examine their pursuits and aversions. The inner master, when confronted with an obstacle, uses it as fuel, like a fire which consumes things that are thrown into it. A small lamp would be snuffed out, but a big fire will engulf what is thrown at it and burn hotter. It consumes the obstacle and uses it to reach a higher level. Adapt yourself to the life you have been given and truly love the people with whom destiny has surrounded you. A man's true greatness lies in the consciousness of an honest purpose in life, founded on a just estimate of himself and everything else, on frequent self-examinations and a steady obedience to the rule which he knows to be right, without troubling himself about what others may think or say, or whether they do or do not that which he thinks and says and does. Past and future have no power over you, just the present, and even that can be minimized. The happiness of those who want to be popular depends on others. The happiness of those who seek pleasure fluctuates with moods outside their control, but the happiness of the wise grows out of their own free acts. The most complete revenge is not to imitate the aggressor. So much worse are the consequences of anger than its causes. What does not benefit the hive is no benefit to the bee. If you are pained by any external thing, it is not this thing that disturbs you, but your own judgment about it. It is in your power to erase this judgment about it. If anything in your own nature gives you pain, you are who hinders you from correcting your opinion. The first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. You have to assemble your life yourself, action by action. 
Your task is to stand straight, not to be held straight. A person's life is dyed with the color of his imagination. Nothing that goes on in anyone else's mind can harm you. Bear in mind that the measure of a man is the worth of the things he cares about. When you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Then make that day count. Your life is an expression of all your thoughts. It doesn't hurt me unless I interpret its happening as harmful to me. I can choose not to. Everything that happens, happens as it should. And if you observe carefully, you will find this to be so. Think of what you have rather than of what you lack. Of the things you have, select the best, and then reflect how eagerly you would have sought them if you did not have them. It's silly to try to escape other people's faults. They are inescapable. Just try to escape your own. Our life is what our thoughts make it. Your days are numbered. Use them to throw open the windows of your soul to the sun. If you do not, the sun will soon set, and you with it. We hope you have enjoyed these quotes as much as we do. We know your time is very important. Thank you for choosing to spend it with us. We look forward to seeing you on the next one. Click the card to check out another great one now.